This is Mike Edwards and welcome to the Asset Optics Quick Start Learning Series. In today's session, we're going to learn more about storerooms as part of the overall MRO inventory management solution. We have two learning objectives for today. The first is to learn the data elements of a storeroom and second, how to set up a new storeroom. A storeroom, very specifically, is used to represent a warehouse or a storage area where you keep um, stock items, where, where, where parts are stored and where they are managed. There are several data, key data elements um, related to a storeroom, but most specifically, you know, the critical data elements are the storeroom ID, the description, which are user-defined text strings. The, ship, the storeroom address, which is defaulted to the shipping address on a purchase order um, whenever you create a PO. The third is the default buyer. The default buyer is automatically set to the purchase order record owner when using the auto PO replenishment process. Lastly, accounting information. There are multiple general ledger accounts and accounting variables that can be set on a storeroom. These are the G GL accounts that are used to track the overall debits and credits for transactions related to this specific storeroom. We will go into more detail on these general ledger accounts under a separate session, but just summarily speaking, the balance sheet account is the account where um, is the balance sheet account where we retain inventory valuations. The uh, payables liability account is supported in the purchasing process. So whenever you receive an item, um, it uh, credits that payables liability account. Whenever you, um, the inventory write-off account is used to support, is an expense account for gain and shrink adjustments. And the accounting variables can be set for company cost center and other user-defined attributes. So let's take a look at a storeroom, and let's uh, go, um, and then let's take a look at setting one up here. So if I click on the plus tab, I can go and I can select the storeroom tab. Presumably, it's not on your page layout, but I'm going to select it right here, and then I click New Storeroom. We see here that the required field storeroom ID. So um, this is a text string, so we're going to just call this storeroom number 21. And I'm going to give a text description here, storeroom, storeroom 21, and I'm going to go select the default buyer. And we're going to look up, and we're going to select uh, Mike Edwards as the default buyer for the storeroom. And again, this buyer when the auto PO generation process is used, um, the, this user will be set to the purchase order record owner. This enables you to, to define many storerooms and when the purchase recs are automatically generated, all of the purchase requisitions will be owned by different users and you can implement a record a, um, a record sharing um, security model and everybody gets to see this. So we're going to put in a street address 9755 Dogwood Road and we're going to say Roswell, Georgia US 30075. Now we're going to bypass setting up these accounts for right now but again you would look up and you would associate a balance sheet account here um, and you would associate a payables liability account, an inventory write-off account, and then if you're going to track like a company, a call center, or whatever you want to set up the appropriate accounting variables to, you can uh, select those here. I'm going to click Save, and um, that's, that's basically it for setting up a storeroom. So to recap, we had two specific learning objectives. Learn to set up the new data elements of the storeroom. Again, those are the storeroom ID and description, the address, the default buyer, and the accounting information. And the second objective was to learn how to set up a new storeroom. Thank you very much.